Hello everybody, this is Surendra Sharma. Today we are going to see something really very cool that's called chat GPT with Sitecore. So in last few weeks, one of the best technology that people are talking about is the chat GPT. So let's try to see what is this chat GPT and how exactly we can use it. So it's a, a dialogue based artificial intelligence, intelligence chatbot. Uh, basically, uh, in one word, it's a chat based tool uh, that can answer your questions with somewhat your in conversational way. Uh, it's developed by OpenAI. So yeah, it's a one uh, researcher lab, a very famous research, researcher lab. And the best thing about the chat GPT is that it's a uh, stateful so what it means that it can remember your uh, previous questions and around the same context it can give you the uh, response here and you can uh, get more information about this chat gpt through this openai.com website so uh, how as a as a developer how i can use it chat gpt so let's try to see uh, one of the use case so let's suppose our client is saying that Hey, you have to migrate CSV or Excel data to the to the site core. So, if you have this kind of use case, then how I can use this uh, Chat GPT to accomplish it? So, on the high level, uh, as a developer, how I can migrate it? So, for that, first we have to find out that what are the different ways, and then uh, according to that, uh, according to the multiple ways, you have to choose uh, one or two ways to to check which one is the best and then uh, uh, once you migrate the data then yeah you can assign some icons um, then you can create the packages from your uh, site core environment so that you can install it on the uh, on your uh, production environment and then you can publish your items so let's go there and try to see uh, whether on these steps as a developer task whether the uh, chat gpt can help us or not so this is the uh, chat gpt home page and uh, uh, here you will get uh, lots of information about it and uh, if you click on this try so this is the uh, chat gpt home page where you can get all the multiple information about the chat gpt so let's go there and try to find out uh, our developer task here so i will first copy it and let's try to see that what are the different ways through which i can uh, migrate my excel file data to the site core so uh, you can see here uh, right now it started to give me the response and it say that uh, all right um, the uh, you can use the excel uh, you can convert your excel file into the csv and then you can migrate the csv file data uh, and then it say that i can write the custom script here as well uh, through which i can migrate it uh, and it say that yeah it's depend on your needs and uh, uh, amount of time that we have so we can choose one of these options here so yeah let's suppose i i should go through this custom script so let's asking the help from this one that hey uh, give me some c sharp code that how i can migrate my excel file data to the to the site core so uh here it started to give me the response again and it say that uh, here is my site core uh script in c sharp so first yeah it's giving me some namespaces the dot net namespaces and the uh, site core namespace and it creating one class for me that program and writing the main and yeah it's reading a one excel file uh, which is going to be converted into the data table and uh, we will uh, we will read each of these uh, rows from this uh, table and uh, then it's going to create for each row it's going to create one item into the site core where we are going to uh, set our field data and uh, then yeah we will just accept this editing and you can see here how it's going to read this excel file uh, so it's giving me some code here and yeah uh, it's going to create some items in sitecore so yeah that also it's writing it so yeah basically it's writing the overall code for me uh, i can just go there and copy it uh, paste it in my application 
and then I can test it. So yeah, I think we are good with this. Let's go there and try to see that uh, whether I can write any PowerShell script as well because uh, uh, basically I'm using the PowerShell script more uh, rather than the code because on the code you have to compile it. PowerShell script is the uh, by default way that you will get it into the sitecore environment. So you can see here it's giving me some uh, code for this uh, uh, for migrating this Excel file data to the sitecore. So uh, it's adding some type here and uh, it's adding the uh, uh, one path here for the type of the sitecore.kernel and then it's uh, creating variable for Excel file path. Uh, it's trying to read it the first worksheet or the workbook and um, uh, once we got the data from this first worksheet so it's trying to uh, it's trying to count it right now by using the for for loop from row 1 to the whatever the number of rows that it's uh, wherever the data we have and then it's trying to get the it's trying to read some uh, column values and then for each of the rows it's giving me these values inside this uh, array variable and then yeah i am creating one item here uh, using the master database and i am trying to set these values here in my uh, whatever the field i have in my site code for this item so let's suppose we have three field so yeah, it's giving me that so yeah it's working good for this one as well um, so let's suppose uh, you have you can use these scripts and you can write it into the um, uh, you can use this script into into your project and you can test it and let's suppose you are successfully able to migrate all the items into the site core so now i have to assign some icon so i can go there and i can say that uh, yeah just go there and uh, tell me that how i can assign the icons to my uh, items that i have just migrated so let's see whether it what response it's going to give me so yeah, it say that go to the uh, uh, within the standard fields. Uh, I have I will get the appearance uh, section, and within that appearance section, uh, I will get the uh, the field for this icon icon field, and within that uh, that yeah, I can assign my icon. Uh, for that, I have to select some icon from here, and it can assign it. So yeah, it's working. Uh, good for me for this one as well. Uh, let's suppose I have signed the icons now I want to create the package of this stuff uh, So that I can uh, create these packages from my local development environment And now I want to install it on my QA or on my uh, staging environment So let's go there and try to see that as well. So uh, Let's try to see what are the different steps that involved it in Sitecore package. Though we know that as a, as a experienced uh, Sitecore developer, but uh, just for to checking the capability of this chat GPT, let's try to see what response it's giving me. And you see, yeah, it's giving me the uh, great response. It say that yeah, go to the site, uh, go to the development tools, and uh, here I will get this uh, package designer and. Uh, within that package designer yeah create a new package and then yeah i can create the new packages here and uh, i can assign my i can select my items from here and i can add my items within this package and then yeah it's going to create the package so yeah great it's working great so let's suppose my package is also created now i want to install this package on my cd environment so let's go there try to see how to install the packages in in the in the site core so yeah my zip file is created now uh, let's go there and try to see how to install this uh, zip package that it just created here uh, so yeah let's go there and try to see how to install it so yeah it started to give me the response again and it say that if i have to install the Sitecore packages then yeah go to the uh, installation wizard uh, then yeah you have to use your uh, zip file uh, as a package and uh, then yeah you can install this 
package here so let's suppose uh, i have installed my package as well now next thing is that how to publish all these items into the into the sitecore environment so let's go there and try to see that how to publish the items in sitecore uh, so yeah it say that uh, go to the items which you want to publish into the content tree and then uh, I have to within the ribbon. I will go to. Uh, I have to refer this publish uh, button, and within the publish dialog, yeah, select the targeting publish uh, targets, and a uh, few additional options are there, and just publish it. So yeah, it's it's working good. I mean, it's uh, as a as a if within your team, if you have some uh, junior developers and. Uh, if they are struggling here to understand anything or if they un don't understand these steps so yeah it will be very great helpful uh, product for them so yeah it, so our demo or our use case is going good with this chat gpt so overall what i can think from from these steps here so yeah ch chat gpt is stateful so it means that it can remember your last conversion and based on that it can give you the response here uh, it's a great developer um, uh, assistant tool i will not say it's going to replace us uh, but yeah it's a very good tool which can uh, assist here in the project development uh, for the documentation uh, i don't think as a developer uh, we are we love the documentation no uh, actually I, uh, personally i don't like the documentation i like the direct code so if somebody is providing me the direct code so yeah it's good thing for me um what should i use google or chat gpt so the problem with the google is that if you are trying to find something it's giving you almost ten thousands of records and uh, or the suggestions which we don't like we just like one or two suggestions that's it so that's what chat gpt is more uh, useful for us maybe in future uh, can it replace the human job yeah i mean few jobs it's it's it can easily replace uh, where i don't think we require we, we require any human intervention but as a developer will it replace it no that's not going to be uh, uh, not going to be work because as a developer you have to translate the business requirement into the technical then you have to connect all these code so it can give you the suggestion but as a uh, it cannot replace the developer so don't worry about it so yeah i think that's it from my side for this week we'll see few new things in next week